There we go, y'all. Yep. 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 They're doing it. They're up here. Yep. That's a good one. Best one of the day. Oh, she spit it. What's going on y'all and welcome back to another video and also welcome back to Falls Lake, North Carolina y'all. It feels so good to be back out here y'all. Spring is basically here. We're in the early months of spring. I'm excited y'all. This is the time of year to be out here on Falls Lake. You know, it's still pretty early on right now, but it's still, you know, this is when it starts heating up. Currently right now, the water temp is 49 degrees is what I'm seeing. I think once that sun gets up for a little while, it's gonna warm up to probably 50, maybe 52. I'm just idling out in the middle of the lake right now and I'm seeing tons of bait. There's birds flying around everywhere. I'm super excited y'all. It feels really good to be back out here on Falls. So, uh, you know, for the past few months, I've been out fishing in, in inshore and doing a lot of stuff down at the coast. And this is like the first time in a super long time that I haven't had to worry about a tide. Just about all the fishing that I've done has something to do with a tide, whether it be up the river for largemouth bass or on the river for striper, inshore fishing. It's had something to do with some sort of tide and, and you know, which direction the tide's going and when is it falling and stuff. Today, I didn't have to worry about that. Just gotta worry about when the sun's coming up. Super excited to be back out here, y'all. Let's see if we can get some spring bass out here on Falls Lake. Stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Oh, okay. Let's see. I think I'm gonna start out with a jerk bait. Seeing a lot of bait around. There's birds diving everywhere. So I'm assuming the bait's pretty high up in the water column. I'm gonna start off on some of these main lake points with some moving baits, stuff like jerk baits and stuff. And then if I don't get much action around there, you know, the water temp is, is about 50. Uh, I might try going up and up shallow. And I can't really remember what the exact water temps were when they did start to move up shallow, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna mess around. I'm probably out in the main lake for most of the time. It's it feels like it's still early spring when they're gonna be pushing up onto these main lake stuff to stage before they move into the backs of the creeks. But they could be back there. Who knows? Right now, the water is a whole lot more clear than it was this time last year. Last winter, we had a ton of rain and a ton of bad weather, and the lake was up five six feet right as as it started to warm up they really started to pull water out of here i don't know why they waited so late but basically all winter could not get a bite it was it was super tough throughout the winter time water was just high and muddy and it just was not the conditions you want for for winter time and early spring fishing but this year look at that right there that bait all right there fish all under it that is what you want to see oh i'm getting excited now just starting off on this main lake point hoping that the fish are pushing some bait up here and yeah we're gonna see if we can get some y'all starting off with jerk bait i'm feeling good feeling excited oh my goodness that is a giant school of bait and a ton of fish all around it y'all the the fish finder keeps these schools of bait are so big that the fish finder keeps thinking that it's bottom and it keeps adjusting like you see how that was just adjusted like it's i have it on auto and so it, it adjusts because that look there's a fish right there eating that fish is currently eating the bait right now he probably already ate some and it's it's he's swallowing it right now gonna start with some longer pauses on the jerk bait really letting them you know i can i can tell they're deeper looks like they're sitting pretty deep 
but the bait looks like it's pretty high up so i'm going to give it some long pauses let the fish come up to it after they hear it because they can hear it and sense it in the water i'm gonna let them come up and find it and it could be pushed up shallower on this point live scope would be really really good in this scenario look at that they're right under the boat right under my trolling motor Here we go, y'all. Look at that. Little tiny threadfin shad or gizzard shad, not really sure. That's a little hint, and as you can see, this is what I got tied on right now. Little blade bait, I mean, come on. I've tried the jerk bait, jig and spoon. I've tried a little hair jig and stuff. Actually, I think I got a color that might be better. It's more white, as you can see, this this, this guy's really chrome. But he, he has that white on them with that little purple on top i don't have anything with the purple i don't have an exact match but i have one that's a lot closer looking to that so i think i might tie that on now but i just found this guy on the, on the surface i'm assuming that there's probably a more around that size so we'll give him back to the birds and i'm gonna go ahead and tie on that other color that i have but this is still my first spot and i, I don't want to get too focused in on one spot you know, I don't, I don't want to get sit here for too long. I already have probably sat here for too long. I've been here for like 30 minutes probably just messing with these fish. I want to see if they'll be willing to bite something. If not, I might just pick up that jerk bait again and just hit different points, different areas that I think that they might be and just, you know, really kind of run and gun and, and try to figure out a, a pattern or see if I can get a bite doing something else. But we're going to give this a shot real quick. You can see here just a little bit, you know, has that more white colors. It has that green, but I'm seeing so many fish, y'all. So many fish down there around all those big schools of bait. But I think that there's just so much freaking bait that it's it's hard to get them to bite. So hopefully the wind will pick up a little bit. Right now I feel like they're just roaming and they're just picking off bait as, as they follow these, these schools around. It's kind of hard to get them to eat anything, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna try this out, this color. I'm gonna spend maybe 10 more minutes at this spot if I don't get any bites. I'm gonna just start moving around, hopping to some different spots that I, I have confidence in. There we go. We're on, y'all. Let's go, finally. Feels like a pretty decent one. Oh, he spit it. It was a little largey. Somehow came off fire. It wasn't a giant, but hey. On that jerk bait, y'all, just what I said, I, 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 there's tons. And I mean, absolutely tons of fish over there, but just could not get them to bite. I haven't seen one school of bait around this point. And what do you know? I get my first bite of the day, first largemouth bite of the day. Just what I said earlier, there might be too much bait over there. You just can't, you can't trick them into eating something just because of how much actual bait is around. But that gives me some confidence. I know it was a bass. I saw him come up. Um, it was a small one, probably a pound and a half, not even two pounds, but it's a good sign. We're, we're finally getting onto something. Finally getting something, y'all. Yep, there he is. Let's go. On that point, y'all. 
it's kind of decent good little head shakes yeah pretty pretty decent little bass barely hooked on the back oh all right y'all feels good it feels like we're doing something right now just had to find the right areas less bait in this area still not seeing any schools of bait like i was at the other spot yeah, he's little but we'll take him right now oh my goodness he is fat he's got a dang belly on him that's for sure where you at buddy yeah decent one hey i will take him oh my gosh look at you look at that fat fish y'all 16 inches look at that freaking belly on him y'all oh my goodness what a stocky stocky fish first one since probably like august maybe even july first fish back out here at falls lake that feels good oh i've missed you i've missed y'all so much there he goes Ooh, feisty that feels good that was like second or third cast at this point right you know it's really close to the point that i was just at yeah vision 110 uh i got it i got this on a seven foot medium moderate action rod it's actually a cranking stick it's uh stiff enough to be able to twitch it so this is actually vision 110 plus one i think i said that so it dives i think seven to nine foot and so i like the i like this rod a lot for the normal vision 110s that only dive four to six feet uh this rod still gets it done and then if i'm throwing the vision 110 plus two that dives 10 to 12 feet i think i like something a little bit faster but this rod is getting it done for me i like having that nice moderate rod to uh, keep those hooks pinned keep the stock hooks on that come on the vision 110 because you know basically 90 percent of the time that i get bites on jerk baits come on the paws and you want very sharp light wire hooks to get those fish hooked without you having to set the hook so i like having a moderate rod i like keeping those stock light wire hooks on i'm using 12 pound fluorocarbon and a 6.3 to 1 or 6.6 to 1 6.6 to 1 garish or reel some people like faster garish or reels it's kind of just all preference and uh yeah y'all that that feels freaking good finally get back onto a fish out here on falls lake had to be on a jerk bait y'all because you know i love jerk baits i love throwing the vision 110s one of my favorite baits dang it it wasn't recording all right well got another one another fat one y'all this was so sick this this eat i didn't see him eat it like i didn't feel the bite but i twitched it twitched it paused and then i just see my line start moving off and i'm like yeah that's a fish on and so ooh, another freaking chubster look how freaking he's like 15 14 inches and he's probably almost two pounds <laughs> look at this fish y'all i mean he's yeah he's 14 inches let's just get a quick weight just to see it zeroed out i'm guessing pound and three quarters 1.9 1.8 ounces so about a pound and a half for a 14 inch fish freaking belly so fat right now y'all Oh, that was a bad release. There he goes. There we go. There's another one, same spot. This one might be a little bit better. Feels like it's fighting a little bit harder. Coming at me right now. Nah, I think it's a little one. Spins. Yeah. Little guy. Oh my goodness smallest guy <laughs> see this is what the bass like this guy's shape is probably more commonly what you see out here not that big fat round belly i mean you get those out here especially those big females that have all those eggs in them but this is typically the shape that you see so that's why i'm so amazed with how uh freaking fat these fish are right now the jerk bait's about half of his size so Maybe I should be throwing some bigger things right now, who knows. 
Might have to try some big swim baits while it's still somewhat cold out right now before the water gets a little bit too warm. I need to try some swim baits. I think if we had some better conditions, I'd definitely consider throwing a big swim bait right now. I still am. There we go, there's another one. Still am considering throwing a big swim bait, but we're getting them done in the jerk bait, y'all. Ah, about this small one. Another little guy. I don't know, maybe they just needed that sun to warm up a little bit. Yeah, he's a solid one. All right, there we go, another one. A little bit more reasonable size belly, still fat, nice and healthy. Look how thick, you see that tail is just thick. Super duper healthy little fish. Hopefully, we'll get some bigger ones here in a little bit. There he goes. I might have to start trying some things for some big ones, maybe try moving up shallow, maybe flipping a jig a little bit, see if there's any up there. If there's not, come back out here and experiment some more. I'm gonna keep using this jerk bait for a little bit because it's it's working and I'm not gonna try to fix something that's not broken, but definitely wanna see if we can get some bigger ones today because this, this is the time of year for it. Yep, they're doing it. They're up here. Yep. That's a good one. Best one of the day. Oh, she spit it. Oh my God, I just missed her. Oh, that was like a five or four or five pounder. Love it. Love it. All right. Can't believe I lost her. I almost scooped her up with the net too. Just missed her with the net. <sighs> Spawning already. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm way in the back of a creek right now. I mean, we've been having warm temperatures. Uh, last week we had some pretty warm weather, so the water temp could have been higher and it, 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 it could have dropped because we, we got a pretty big cold front that came through. So who knows, maybe they, they did move up already. I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard anything from anyone besides a few, a few of my buddies were on a decent bite, but they they only got out here later after the after that that warm spell that we had. So they could have moved up already, and they could have the first wave could have already moved. That was probably a four, four or five pounder. It wasn't a huge one, but it's the biggest bass I've hooked into in months. So that would have felt really good. But it hey, gives me a hint. Uh, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go flip a jig for like 30 minutes. And I'm gonna go up shallow, go back to the creek, flip a jig, see if they are on beds yet. Definitely, definitely not the biggest one uh, that I've ever caught, but it was it was a pretty good one. She just shook her head right at the bow. I didn't keep the line tight enough, I don't think, and she just shook it right out of her mouth. fish and it feels pretty good y'all finally feels like a decent one came up and jumped yeah that's a pretty good one better than probably gonna be the best one of the day if i hadn't missed that one on the jig don't do that don't do that please these are light wire hooks so i'm playing with my drag a lot don't want to bend it out this isn't a giant or anything but it's probably gonna be, a, be the best best one of the day for sure And that is a freaking stud.
freaking fatty. He's, yeah, he's pretty good. Probably, probably three or four pounds. Look how stinking fat this fish is. Oh my gosh, let me get the other one on. All right, there we go. All right. Back onto him, y'all. I, I kind of expected the bite to turn back on once that wind came through and probably once that sun started to get a little bit lower. Look how stinking fat they are, y'all. Look at that belly. Just absolutely chubby right now. It's insane. It's about 17 inches. So just an inch longer than that one earlier. Three pounds. Five ounces. Three pounds, five ounce. But he's just so stinking fat, y'all. That is insane. Look how freaking chubby they are, y'all. All right, dudes. Whenever you're ready. Here it goes. All right, y'all, well, I think that's gonna wrap up things today. I couldn't get any more after that last one. Uh, I'm seeing some action. I might fish a little bit more after I do the outro, but I just wanted to do the outro before the sun gets too low, so. But as far as what I caught him on today, the only thing that landed fish for me today was that jerk bait. It was the only thing I could catch him on consistently and then also land them. You know, I caught, I hooked that one on the jig. It came off, which I don't know. I'm pretty confused as to why that fish was up there, but it's up there. I'm guessing it was on a bed. It might just be an early, early spawner. Uh, today was just really more of a test day and really kind of just a day to get back out here and to, you know, get a feeling for it again. It's been a while. Feels good to be back out here. And uh, if y'all haven't seen the videos from last spring i have a few pretty awesome videos some of my best in my opinion i think there's some of my best videos came from when i was fishing out here last spring so if you guys want to check those out i'll make a playlist of all of the falls lake um spring fishing that i did last year and i'll leave it in the link in the description below and i'll also put it in the cards or something or maybe at the the end card of the video still had an awesome day though and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're new here what's up my name is jamie i'm from north carolina i do freshwater and saltwater fishing here on my channel and if you like we saw in today's video definitely subscribe for everyone who has subscribed thank you guys so much for supporting me it really means a lot to me and with all that being said y'all once again i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to leave a like if you want to see more make sure to subscribe share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace There we go, y'all. Another one to end the day. Let's go. Saw them blowing up over here. It wasn't like they were schooling like super hard, but I kept seeing them. I kept seeing them blow up, and I I was starting to see this. It slicked off, and I was starting to see bait flickering at the top. And I was like, all right, there definitely are some around here. Let's see if I can get one more to end the day. Blowing up behind me too. Another football, y'all. Was able to get out one more before the day was over. Just a freaking bat fish, y'all. Awesome. All right, let's get him back in. <laughs> let's go. A little good release. All right.